And you guys are probably wondering, what am I doing doing this? But real quick, I just wanted to do a short little video on some of the new Nike um, jerseys. And this is the Vapor Fuse Limited uh, jerseys that they did. Now, I know last year that they did some jerseys that were uh, different and they upgraded this year, supposedly, and made the jerseys a little bit different and they weren't like the ones from last year. And I know a lot of people don't like it. So I just wanna give my thoughts and opinion on it real quick. Now for me, again, before I dive into that, my name is Tori KT with Drip TV. I appreciate you tuning into the channel, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I not only do sneaker content, but I also try to throw some other things in there as well. And this is one of them. Now, with that being said, everybody, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you don't know, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Now for me, I don't buy many jerseys because I don't like getting too many players. Now there's only a few players that I do have of jerseys that I've had previously. And most of the jerseys that I do get, they've all been those that have the embroidered and um, you know sewn on numbers and letters. So this is the old Troy Palomalu stitched on. And this is uh, the one that was made by Reebok. Uh, and there's the Reebok logo right here. But with that being said, like I said, this is the one with the stitch on there, stitch name and stuff. But this is this is an older one. It's a lot heavier weight. And then I have a few Mitchell and Ness, and this is my Franco Harris one. And of course, Mitchell and Ness is always going to be, um, you know, stitched on numbers, heavyweight material. And you got that throwback tag right there, Franco Harris, Pittsburgh Steelers, 1975. Um, but uh, I do have a couple other ones, James Harrison. But I rarely, rarely, rarely get players that are on the current roster. So what I decided to do was buy one of the new Nike limited edition Fuse jerseys. Now I'll show you a little bit closer about this jersey. But a lot of people are, are tripping off of the fact that this is uh, heat pressed, um, which is my opinion. I know about heat press and screen print. Heat press is a lot better than the uh, screen print because the screen print, I think if will flake off more, but the heat press, this is on there pretty well. Now, my opinion, this jersey is way overpriced at 175 for what you're getting, but the quality is actually really good. Now, I'll say this, I don't like V-necks, but with the way they did this V-neck is really pretty cool and how they have this here. The logo's on there, looks pretty decent. And you got the Steelers logo right there. So this is gonna fit a little more snug and not loose so the jerseys that i showed right now earlier they will fit a lot looser um they have game i think different type jerseys um this is limited i think they have another one i think um game or something like that but the elite i think is the the ones that are um where you can customize yourself where it's like game one and stuff but i'll show some b-roll of this jersey now I did get this jersey for $140. I didn't pay $170. So what I did was search for coupons and I found this jersey where I could get it for a lot cheaper. Main reason for me doing this video and I'll show you some B-roll of this jersey a little bit is to show you the size. And a lot of people talk about the size. And now with that being said, I got a size large. Now for reference, I am about 10, about 180, 185. I think one right now, I'm ranging around 180. Now for me, you know, I'll put the jersey on so you can see real quick. Now it fits, but if you know anything, it does pull on the back. Now they might not bother some people, but for me, you know, I know me and I know how I fluctuate in my weight. Usually I hover between 180, 185 and 190. So I have a little bit more girth because I do work out. But at the same time too, I know once I start working out a little bit more, that the sleeve is just gonna be a little bit too tight for my opinion. So I'm gonna size up on it. So if you feel like you need a little bit more room in the middle, I would size up on this jersey. Um, again, uh, I'll back it up a little bit. Make sure I'll, where you can kind of get a little bit closer look. So, there's the jersey a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. So you see it pulling a little bit right here where it is a little tight. You know, it fits. It looks better, it looks tapered. 
Um, but for me, I think I need a little bit more room because I know me and I know when I start working out a lot more that I'm going to need that little extra room. Um, but this is for anybody who are football fans who are thinking about getting one of the new jerseys. And, you know, you really want to get the new Nike jersey, which is not a bad jersey. It looks really good. But at the same time, too, I figured I'd just throw it on, show you guys if you're interested in getting um, one of these jerseys and you were thinking about spending that one for 75. I'd look, look at the jerseys, find coupons or something if you're thinking about getting it. But overall, it is a nice jersey, but I'm going to be returning this one to get a bigger size. Um, but if you have comments, questions or anything about the jersey, anything else as well, please leave it down below. Again, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Again, stay blessed one out there. Steeler Nation, rise up. And remember, you never too old to drip.